Hello Pisces. Welcome to your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Pisces, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Have someone who feels unfinished business with you. They care a lot about other people think. Missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. The way you love can never be matched. Irreplaceable. You are Pisces. Habits as an overall energy. I don't know if we will ever change. What does that even mean? What are they talking about? <sighs> okay. Right. So we still have things to resolve and discuss. So Pisces, we are connecting here in this reading for you with someone who is missing you very, very much. They feel like they missed opportunity with you. They have regrets. They feel like they should have act when they had a chance. Um, I feel this is someone here who indeed is, it's, it's like they really care a lot. It's like they care about other people's perception. But um, I'm seeing here that this is someone who feels indeed unfinished business that they have with you. They're claiming here we have still things to resolve and discuss. Yeah, this is someone who feels that you are irreplaceable. Overall energy habit. I don't know if we will ever change. I think this person is talking about themselves, to be honest with you, Pisces. It's like I feel that they are reminiscing about this whole situation and they are actually... Because it feels very strongly here that this person made a mistake and it's like a habit of theirs. Maybe they should kind of ask themselves if, if they ever change, you know. I feel this is someone who is stuck in a certain routine habit and they, it's like a cycle and they might be feeling, oh my gosh, I, I did it again, right? Will I ever change? Will this habit ever change? Well, let's see what is this all about, Pisces. Could you please show me this person's energy, their feelings, what truly is going on here? Knight of Wands. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Knight of Swords, mm -hmm. Chaser Runner we have, that's a runner, that's a chaser. What do we have here, love? The High Priestess, the Emperor, the Sun, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck for this part of the reading. Pisces, you might be dealing with Aries, we have Leo, we have Cancerian energy, and also your energy. Therefore, you might be dealing with another Pisces. So immediately when I was, uh, when I was, you know, uh, shuffling your cards, and when, when I got Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords, for me, it is a sign that this is someone who brought that chase around a dynamic. One... I feel once this person has been a chaser, one this one, and you know, other time this person was a runner. We have an eight of pentacles here, but this is very inconsistent energy with this knight of wands. I feel when this person appeared in your life, Pisces, it felt like a breath of fresh air. You know, they brought a bit of excitement. Knight of wands is a very creative energy fast energy, very passionate energy, but very inconsistent, very in and out and hot and cold. Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. I feel that you are, you've been 
in the middle of all that dynamic, I feel Pisces that you've been very consistent with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel that you've kind of showed an effort and you've kind of showed this person that, you know, you care about them. Page of Cups, yes, I feel that for some of you, most of the time you were the one who was coming with some sort of kind of initiative, like sending them a message, asking how they've been. But I feel in general, you show this person that you have good and pure intentions. And what they show you is that chase around the dynamic. We have a high priestess here, the emperor, the sun and the ace of pentacles. You might be dealing with divine masculine Pisces or you are divine masculine. So please take it how it resonates. And for some of you, I feel that there is no contact situation because high priestess can represent, you know, silence that might occur in this connection or is between the two of you. We have the Emperor, the Sun and the Ace of Pentacles. However, this person is planning. This is someone here who wants to come with a solid offer. It feels like this. Uh, the Sun with the Emperor. I feel that this person wants to show you that, you know, they've kind of level up, you know. Because we have a Knight of Wands to the Emperor, so some, some, someone who a bit changed or it's working towards a change with the Eight of Pentacles next to this Knight of Wands to become that Emperor. We have the Sun and the Ace of Pentacles, that's a beautiful combination of cards. Because there is this suggestion here that this person really wants to make the situation better with the sun. And the ace of pentacles indicates that they, do, they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. They want to come here with a solid offer. Six of pentacles. I feel that at the time this person might have kind of breadcrumbed you. Or it's like they were reaching out or showing you affection or attention only when it was convenient for them. But now it feels like this person really uh, wants to show you that they have time for you, that they want to show that they are very generous with this affection and attention. So it's like they want to present themselves in a completely different light with the sun, right? That they are the emperor rather than the knight of wands. Interesting. I'm also getting very strongly here, Pisces, that you are in control at the end of the day. You are, you, 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 you are taking back control. You took back control, I feel, for a lot of you. And it's like, uh, I'm, I'm getting someone here who is saying, I have nothing to prove. And I feel this is you, Pisces, who is saying this. I have nothing to prove. I feel that you are very powerful at the moment. Your intuition is spot on as well. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Pisces? King of Cups, okay, we have an Eight of Cups, we have the Empress, so we have the Emperor and the Empress. In their feelings, this person sees you as their divine counterpart. Five of Cups, mm -hmm. additional message, Two of Pentacles with the Magician. So, you might be dealing with Virgo, Gemini, I also have Taurus Energy. King of Cups indicates here that this person uh, has strong feelings. And it's like I feel that they've been thinking a lot about the situation. Um, I feel this person is regretting. Pisces kind of maybe distancing themselves or even walking away from that situation. But um, wherever they are and whatever is happening in their life, this is someone who is uh, not having a fabulous time. Mm -mm -mm. They are in their regret. This is someone who wants to express remorse. I feel for how they treated you in the past. The love is still there, big time. This person wants to, they are thinking a lot about this emotional distance that might be very, very much present between the two of you. But they do have feelings strong strong feelings for you with this king of cups the empress they sees you as their divine counterpart you might be divine feminine or you are dealing with divine feminine but this is a match they are trying to manifest 
they are trying to manifest this connection both of you coming together mm -hmm. this is someone who seriously is thinking of reaching out but uh, i don't feel this person is very very much you know i feel they have doubts as much as they truly want to reach out you know they truly want to come with that offer of love they have doubts on emotional level but with the magician i'm getting that this person will take action we'll see in a second but two of pentacles yeah i feel that emotions are running really really high this is someone here who it's thinking about you but they are attracting your energy so it wouldn't surprise me for instance pisces if this if for instance um let's say you recently you had a dream about this person or you've heard their name randomly or it's like there was a song on the radio that you've heard and reminded you of that person yeah there's all those kind of signs from the universe that this person is trying to manifest you they are thinking a lot about you let's see their actions ten of pentacles wanted to show up show me this person's actions look at that hierophant ten of cups Hoo -hoo -hoo. you might be dealing with taurus indeed ace of swords and three of swords ay 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 oh there will be a conversation judgment the good old judgment in their actions they want to resurrect this this is scorpio energy as well we have a hierophant and a ten of cups higher level of commitment happy relationship stable long-term situation meaning relationship however there is a need to clear the air this person with the ace of swords they in their actions they will reach out they will try to clear the air with you this is someone who will be talking about a higher level of commitment they want that they want settle down that they want to be in a serious long-term relationship but also this energy has to be addressed and i feel that this person broke your heart they caused this emotional upheaval emotional disappointment dissatisfaction and they caused on emotional level pain and it has to be addressed if this person really wants to be given a chance or resurrect this connection yeah this is someone here who will address that they put you in this connection that free of souls energy because that cannot be ignored if they want to clear the air then that obviously is like a natural and it just makes sense beautifully with the ace of swords to the three of swords they need to talk about this they own you an explanation but you have someone here who will be also talking about being in a relationship wanting to be in a relationship with you and that's at this big announcement also with the judgment mm -hmm. this person will take action they will take action pisces show me the outcome nine of cups guys two okay <laughs> two of wands let's see so we have in your outcome nine of cups king of swords seven of pentacles seven of swords eight of swords two of swords three of swords four of wands and three of wands so we have number 77 which might be of significance or seven seven we also have Thirty three or three three, twenty two or two two. Okay. 
uh, additional message here indicates Pisces that there will be a progress you have someone here who is a bit wishy-washy sneaky with the seven of swords it's like I'm getting someone who oh, I want to say something but I don't know because I don't it's like that kind of energy it's like this person wants you to ask them in you know that sort of energy I'm getting because we have a seven of swords them being sneaky but actually kind of um I feel that this person has been like this because they're going to talk about this because it's 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 the urge is too strong but I feel this is someone who's been like this and I feel that you see them that way as someone who is sneaky because you can see exactly what this person is about I don't need to tell you really uh, with the Seven of Swords, it feels like you see this person is a sneaky, not fully transparent. I feel that you have your reservations. You might be feeling like this person is hiding something. It's like their the motives here might be quite questionable for you. We have an Eight of Swords with the Two of Swords. If this person at some point blocked you, I'm getting here that obviously they will unblock you. But um, we have an Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords. This is someone who is stuck on you. Who is stuck on you with the two of swords it feels like this person doesn't want anyone else Pisces because look what we have after this three of cups and the four of wands with the three of wands happiness joy celebration it wouldn't surprise me if this person will say um, shall we meet up sometime or shall we go for for a drink because they want to be with you. You might be seeing a lot 11-11. We have three of wands. Yeah, this is someone who has their eyes on the prize and they want to be with you. Nine of cups, king of swords, seven of pentacles. Uh, Pisces, you might be dealing with Aquarius, but I'm getting very strongly for some of you, you have heavy placements in Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nine of Cups indicates here, Pisces, that you will get what you want at the end of the day regarding this whole situation. King of Swords uh, suggests that that conversation will take, will take place. This person wants to talk. Seven of Pentacles, but they need to be patient. And that's what I am getting. Indeed, this is someone here who feels unfinished business with you and they are stuck on you. I feel that you see exactly what this person is about. You see their habits, them being quite sneaky, you know. But they are stuck on you. This is someone who doesn't want anyone else because they want this. Three of cups, four of wands and three of, three of wands. Seven of Pentacles suggests here that this person most probably will have to wait a little bit. They have to be patient and it feels here that this person will have to prove it to you that they are willing to invest in this connection. If they are willing to invest and if they are willing to prove it to you that they kind of level up from that energy of Knight of Wands to the Emperor, then maybe at some point uh, this person will see the benefits of, uh, of, of, of their hard work and dedication. But I'm not seeing you uh, kind of welcoming this person back immediately. Mm -mm -mm. Nine of Cups indicates that you will get what you want, though, from this situation. Two of Wands as an overall energy suggests that this person is planning, waiting for the right moment here. Yeah. To make a move. And it feels like they will, Pisces. They will. Fairly, fairly soon. Pisces, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Pisces, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.